What are we doing today, folks? We're installing a radon removal system in a historic house in Southwest Virginia. Hi, my name is Scott. I'm a radon mitigator in Virginia. I make videos for other radon mitigators, those looking to get in the business. If you're a homeowner, want to stay and hang out. If you're looking for a mitigator, I suggest you go to www.nrsb.org. It's right down here. Go to that site, put in your zip code, and I'll pull up a list of certified radon professionals in your area. So today, this house was built uh, probably in the 20s. There you go. It's a 20s house, maybe 30s, something like that. And uh, so that's a high suction fan. And I'll be happy to show you how we're treating this house. It is total chaos here today. We got over 100 feet of pipe. Wow, why do we have so much pipe? Well, we're doing multiple suction points. So, let's take some doing to get there. Starting down there, going over here, coming over here. We've got four suction points in this one. We'll show you how it comes together. Okay, so in this hole, the soil content is a little, well crap, I just, I just dumped a bucket. But anyway, it's, it's a little moist and clumpier. I mean, there's, there's presence of like water in this hole, not, not, you know, like goopy water, but that hole right there was crazy, you know, compact. This is a little different. So why am I riffing on this? Because uh, we're doing four suction points and as you know you think they're all going to be the same but they're not apparently and i've done this long enough to know uh to search for any edge i can get so if you haven't seen my videos when you're digging uh, with no gravel under the slab you want to be foot this is going to be your number one tool right here so we got a digging bar uh by over there's got the crowbar but this right here this is what is going to get you through you're gonna, you're, the chance to get your best air movement is going to be actually up through here. Not, you know, you, you think you wanna be drawing air radially like this, but your air movement's gonna come closer to the wall because the soil is gonna be even more smushed and compact as it gets towards, you know, the center of the house there. Um, so that's what it's all about for me. And so back to water, um, I, I see that kind of as a good sign because water is seeking its lowest point. So it's moving, right? Well, if it's moving, that means it's creating little pathways. And little pathways allow for airflow. Um, just trying to make chicken salad out of chicken poop. <laughs> this is a tough, this is the toughest part of the job, but it is the most important. Uh, concentrate a whole lot on your suction points because once the pipe's in, it's done. If it doesn't work out, you don't ever want to say to yourself, hmm, could I have put more effort into that suction point? So we're shooting for, uh, we try for two buckets. Uh, we, we try for three, but two is kind of the um, the standard in this, in this line of work. You can fill up two five gallon buckets with each suction pit then that's a good thing so four that's a lot of dirt and of course we want to create airflow channels so this flathead screwdriver you'll even notice that the dirt breaks apart easier on this side towards the wall as opposed 
towards the center. It's, it's, I'm telling you the truth. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to communicate through this video, but that's, that's the way it is. It's breaking apart easier here as opposed to here. So where are we going to get our airflow? On the perimeter. That's the secret to pulling from these, uh, these older homes. The airflow is going to come from the perimeter. The floor, in my imagination, is like a contact lens. It sort of gets convex over time. And so the airflow is going to come around like, like that. Okay, it's been a long day and it is dark. Darkness spreading. All right, so uh, we've got the system in. And uh, hey, I'll show you how we came out. This house is selling in a hurry. And uh, this is a real, this is kind of a rush job here. Uh, and we, we were able to get this in for uh, the realtors and the buyers and the sellers like last minute. So, um, well, here we go. Let me show you the system. All right, so uh, we'll start at the fan out there. So that's where we came in. That's your fan outside. And uh, we stubbed it right here. And uh, we just basically made a, a square, you know. But uh, I'm proud of it. I worked really hard to do it. <laughs> um, Jamie and I did. And so, uh, you know, here's section point number two. Boom. And uh, we got it nice and labeled. Um, used up all of our stickers. And uh, just, you know, one more little side note here. Uh, when we came through here, as you can see, it is like... Uh, a crazy spider web of HVAC and actually kind of faked me out for a second I thought oh man I can't come through there and then I thought yeah I can all I can do I can just cut these little things and these things move around for you they'll work with you they're not rigid like like this so keep that in mind if you're in a similar situation that, that you can make these things move for you rather than try to cut four inch rigid PVC pipe and snake it around this. No, snake these around that. Um, I hope that helps you out right there because it came in handy for me. You can't over label stuff like this, especially if you get jack leg plumbers. Um, they, they're out there, uh, stuff happens. And I like to make things uh, seventh grader level. Hey, so uh, right here, this is an example of uh, being, being kind to uh, the other trades. So someday, this furnace will need to be replaced. Well, here's our radon pipe, right here smack dab in the way. And what we did for uh, the next folks is we put a fern coat on and we labeled it easy disassembly for future furnace replacement. Anyway, can't hurt. Um, and then the other one is right here at the other joint. So someday they can pop it right off and uh, this won't be you know, a total nightmare there for them. And then moving right along, here's section point number three. And you can actually walk through here and not bump your head. Well, if you're under 5'11. And section point number four, and that's where we put the manometer. It's well lit. Um, you know, why not? We had four points to choose from. And there we go. All right, well, this is how we treat a uh, 1920s, 30s, you know, historic home. And I hope it helps you out there. Uh, this was tough. Um, all these suction points were pretty tough. Actually, this side of the house was tougher than this side of the house. Um, well, my best guess is, uh, I guess, water. Uh, this home is set uh, uphill. And so I guess water, you know, flows down and uh, kind of loosen things up a little more over here, more so than over here. And uh, well, four suction points. That's a record for me, I do believe, uh, with the exception to like combining with cross space encapsulation. But, wow, I'm tired. I'm going to head home. I hope it helped you. If it did, why don't you smash that like button and consider subscribing. Does it cost you a thing? It means the world to me. All right, drop lots of content out there for the Radon community. <sighs> we'll see you soon in the next video. Bye.